Hi, my name is Jocelyn Donovan. I'm the CPNP for Nawasa Kandasman Teg, and today we're going to talk about engaging with your baby. So we're going to use that word a lot, engaging. All that means is talking to them, playing with them, being with them, and actively being with them. So not just playing on your phone or watching a TV show, but engaging with them. So um, we're going to do a little bit of talking about the neuroscience or the brain science of engaging with babies, but mostly we're going to talk about different things that you can do at home to engage with your baby. This is Dr. Jean Clinton. Dr. Clinton is a child psychiatrist at McMaster University and the University of Toronto. She is recognized internationally as a leading researcher in childhood development and neurodevelopment. Dr. Clinton's work focuses on relationship building with children and families. You can read her book, Love Builds Brains. To summarize some of her main points, she believes that positively engaging with your child consistently will help build a loving, trusting environment where your child will be more able to learn from you. You should not think of your child as an empty jar that you have to fill with knowledge. You are learning together and your child has their own interests. By following their interests, you will help them learn. For example, if your child loves story time, read them as many stories as you can manage. They will be more able to learn lessons from activities that interest them. Same with interests like painting, collecting, building, exploring, singing, etc. But how do we engage with baby when baby's not doing that much? We can sing, read, bounce, walk, and talk to them. I included some songs that you can sing to your baby. Some of them are for relaxing and some of them are for playing. Please excuse my singing voice. I am not a professional singer. <laughs> this is Rockabye Baby. Rockabye baby in the treetop. When the wind blows, the cradle will rock. When the bow breaks, the cradle will fall, and down will come baby, cradle and all. Make sure you're engaging with baby when you're singing. Look at them in their eyes, smile, rock them back and forth, make sure that they are part of the activity too. This is a nice song for sleep time. It goes, you are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy when skies are gray. You'll never know, dear, how much I love you. Please don't take my sunshine away. Now, this is a great little song. It goes round and round the garden goes the teddy bear one step two step and tickle you under there <laughs> so you want to build that anticipation too so baby learns that they're about to get the tickle and that's really important for their development this is another one of my favorites it goes a back a soda cracker a back a boo a back a soda cracker up goes you. Aka back a soda cracker, aka back a boo. Aka back a soda cracker, I love you. Then you get to do a cuddle. <laughs> There's also really simple ones you can do, like bounce, bounce, bounce and stop. Bounce, bounce, bounce and stop. Bounce, 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 and stop. Bounce, 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 bounce. <laughs> so it's just about having fun with them, teaching them that anticipation, and uh, helping them learn what's going to come next. And another great thing to play with your baby is peekaboo. And I know that that sounds you know, obvious, like, oh yeah, well, okay, we'll play peekaboo, but it's actually really important for their development. So when you play peekaboo, if you cover up your face, baby, when they're very young, baby doesn't know you're there anymore. 
So it actually does trigger a little bit of stress in them, just a little bit, because they can still sense you there. But if you cover your face, go peekaboo, they learn that you always come back. And that's a very important step for them developmentally. So if you keep hiding your face and coming back, they start to learn that you are dependable, that you're going to keep coming back for them, and they get a little bit of that stress response. And that actually helps them learn how to handle their stress better over time. Another great way to engage with your baby is to read books. A lot of people don't think of reading books to their littlest babies, but babies love being held and they love hearing your voice. And there's nothing wrong with getting them started on books early. When I had my first, she was very fussy, but she loved being read to. So some days she would sit on my lap for hours and we'd go through all of our storybooks. <laughs> so this is a little book called Little You. And this is lovely. It has beautiful pictures of family together and just a few words on every page. Babies like when you turn the pages quite quickly. This one says, little you, little wonder, little wish, gentle thunder. You are mighty, you are small. You are ours after all. So these kind of baby books have lovely messaging and lovely pictures, and your baby will learn from it as well. My babies also loved art books. Sometimes you can find art books for a couple dollars at Value Village or other secondhand stores, and you can just open up the page and let baby absorb all that art. And you'll see, your baby will have preferences. My little one here had no time for some of the paintings, but she loved the blown glass and anything that looked more three-dimensional. Well, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you learned a little bit more about how you can engage with your baby and the benefits of engaging with your baby consistently and positively. Thanks so much for joining me. We'll see you again soon. Bye now.